1-7. Hey, what's up guys? Black Sheep here, and check it out. I have a hot corner box, which is always a fun thing to break, and a 2020 Tops tin featuring Cody Bellinger on the front. So let's do a head-to-head. -head. Who is going to win? What is going to win? They're both about the same exact price. I think $14.99, 15 bucks each. Is the Hot Corner Box a better value, or is the Tops Series 1 a better value? Let's go ahead and open up the Tops tin first. I know that the um, Hot Corner Box has hits in it, but it can be so random at times that um, you never know what you're going to get in one of these Top uh, Hot Corners. But if you had, you know, 15, 16 bucks to spend, is it better to get a Tops tin, or is it better to get the Hot Corner Box? Now, with the Topps tin, you do actually get this nice tin. So there is something to be said about that. It's not like you're going to keep the hot corner box that all those cards come in. But this tin, you can use it to put cards in or coins in or whatever it is. Um, it's kind of neat. All right, there are some exclusives in here, which I'll mention when we get to them. All right, let's see who we got. We got Joey Lucchesi, Bellinger, Braun, Alberto... Conforto, Rizzo, Pavetta, Dietrich, nothing crazy so far, Kelly, Giles, Glasnow, I don't like how they're all the other which way, Kikuchi, Sorotka, Frazier, uh, let's just move on because these are lots of these are just common type cards. All right, here we go to the middle. This is where all the inserts and special cards are going to be at Chris Archer foil. We got a Vladdy. This is a cool looking card. Vladdy uh, Jr. Uh, retro card. And a uh, Jordan Alvarez. This is a nice one too. I like both of those cards quite a bit. We got a Machado, Kershaw. These turkey red cards. I'm not a big fan of Lindor. Mookie Betts, and then we also got a couple Vladdy Jr. Uh, exclusives from Target. I don't think they're particularly good looking. We got Wade Boggs, Decades Best 80s. This is an exclusive to this, and a Masahiro Tanaka. And this is also um, one per box here. We got a black Eric uh, Alex Bregman. This should be numbered... To, what is it? Number to 299. So the 85 retro number to 299. All right, and then let's see if we have anything else here in the back. We got a Fires, Springer here, Aaron Judge. These, of course, mostly just base. Uh, Seth Brown rookie. Here's a Gavin Lux rookie. It's always good to get a Gavin Lux. I saw Gavin Lux do like a Topps sort of commercial recently on, on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, let's see, anything else? Is that no? I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that's it for the highlights out of that box. I think the best two cards were a Gavin. Actually, these three I like the best, but I think the Vladdy, since it's a second year, it's not a rookie. I really like this card. It looks really cool. But I think these are probably my best out of this particular tin. A Gavin Lux rookie and a Jordan Alvarez 85 retro rookie. Let's see if this hot corner box can beat it. Remember, these are like the same price. So it's going to be interesting. And this has hits in it. But let's see what packs. I don't want to see the hits yet. Let's just go ahead. We got a 2018... Donruss, Big League, which I've actually hit autos in this before, believe it or not, Pinnacle, Hobby Pack, and a Top Series 1 from 2018. I wish it was a Series 2 or update, but we get what we get. All right, let's see what we get in this one. Uh, we got a Wade Boggs, Houston's Heavy Hitters, Encarnacion, a rated rookie of J.P. Crawford. The Kid, which is, of course, Ken Griffey Jr. Ooh, I like this design, the old-school um, Donruss, like 80, what, one or two? I don't know. Blackman, 
Jacob DeGrom, and a Matt Olson. These are cool cards. I do like those. I didn't collect in 2018 for baseball, so I did not even know those cards were made. Let's see. I did buy some of these when I started back into collecting these big leagues. Um, pretty hard to get anything good. Uh, wall Climbers insert Mookie Betts. And then, what is this? Tanner Roark Parallel. And I think that's it. Yep, that is it. Let's go to the Pinnacle. Sometimes you can get lucky and get like an autograph in these. Hey, we got another Griffey. Adam Eaton, rookie. Darren Ruff. And it looks like we did get an autograph. Jay Chapman. All right. Well, at least it's a hit. That means we're getting at least three hits out of this. So that's cool. We got a slugfest of John Carlos Stanton with the really cool... They, they used to call this like Dufex or Nufex for hockey. Slugfest of John Carlos Stanton. Billy Butler, Hosmer, Wainwright. Okay, let's do the 2018. I think we're looking for like Walker Bueller. He might be a good one to get in here, like a rookie of his. There might be some other ones that we can look for. Maldonado, Yelich, Rizzo, Dominic Smith, Arcia, Nolan Arenado. Let's see. Aaron Judge, Eric Hosmer, Carlos Swayze. Ender Inciarte, Matt Harvey, Bedrosian, and Ozuna. So no Bueller. Um, not bad. Let's go ahead and see the two hits. We got a Singrani, Bowman Sterling, Rookie Revelations, Tony Singrani. Okay, let's see what year that is. 2013, so this guy probably never amounted to much, unfortunately. And then a Daniel Camarina. USA Baseball from 2010. So I never heard of him. But we did get three hits. <laughs> I think none of them really amounted to anything. So what was better? Was the Hot Corner Box better? Or was the Top Sweater? Well... The hot corner box, you do get these hits, which I think is kind of exciting, and you get this sort of random smattering of packs, which can also be exciting. But Tops is always so steadfast, and this Gavin Lux rookie, if Gavin Lux ends up being a really good player, this card could really shoot up in value. And same thing with Jordan, even though this is not his true rookie, um, I think people do like these retros quite a bit. And this would also be a card that could raise quite a bit in value if Jordan Alvarez continues on his amazing play. So both of these cards have huge, huge potential, whereas these cards have already lost their potential. And I mean, they're just hits, maybe a buck or less a piece. And the rest of the cards were just eh, nothing crazy. So I think, in my opinion, the tops 10 won. Even though it had zero hits in it, it did have some good rookie cards that have some good potential. Whereas we got hits in the hot corner box, but it's not like these hits are anything special. So tell me what you think. What would you have rather have bought if you had a choice between a tin of tops or a hot corner box? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.